Welcome to another of my relatively boring tech videos. Um, as you might have guessed, I'm playing around with making video with a smartphone. And yesterday I went out and tried out how to stabilize the footage best. So one of the most important things when you're filming with a mobile is you need to have your phone as stable as possible as you when you get this shaky video um, that really looks awful. So I tried a couple of things from the easy and cheap just piece of string, a monopod, relatively cheap glide cam and the Osmo Mobile. So the footage I took yesterday will be at the end of this video. Um, it's pretty boring, but um, if you want to look at it, um, I attached it and you can see how good or how bad the stabilization went. So um, first thing, piece of string. Idea is you wrap it around your phone put your foot on the lower end of the string and then you remove one degree of freedom and you can only shake in this direction but you cannot shake up and down anymore. Advantage, dirt cheap, dirt easy and you can put that in, in your pocket anywhere and um, it's everybody has a piece of string in their home. So this is the best thing to start. It's really good for steady shots where you just hold your phone stable. You can do some panning, uh, which works also relatively well, but it's still kind of shaky. But for the price, unbeatable. Next thing is a monopod with a smartphone holder. You, smartphone flips in there. Um, you can get these holders for something like five euros to I think the one from Manfrotto, which is really stable. It's on here, something like seven euros. So they're really cheap. Monopod is 20 euros. Um, and you might have one anyway from your photography. Good thing, it's relatively cheap. It's relatively fast to set up and it's quite good for static shots where you just hold your phone stable or you do some panning, which also works relatively well when you just turn your uh, monopod. You can do some kind of revealing shots and, and movements up and down. You can use it as a selfie stick. So this is kind of versatile. It's quite good. Problem is, it's a bit bulky and you cannot do any walking shots. I tried by balancing it like this, but um, it, it works kind of, but not really good. So next thing is this glide cam. This is uh, what's it called? The Rollei Mini Wildcat. Uh, currently on Amazon for 30 euros. And the idea is you connect your phone up here and you have a mechanism which has a counterweight so that the center of gravity is at this um, joint. Problem with that is um, you need to set it up, you need to balance it and I, I never really got it balanced. So it's, it's kind of balanced always but then so when you move it around it it works kind of but for some reason then it stops working and i really didn't get the hang of it also need to constantly control it with your fingers going slightly touching it so you're not gripping it but you're you're just touching it constantly tipping it constantly so it doesn't move away so this is the technology they use in hollywood for bigger cameras it kind of works. Uh, I got it working once. Yesterday it didn't really work out. It's very sensitive to wind. So I, I tried it with some stronger winds and it just went like this. Um, so it's more an indoor thing than an outdoor thing. It keeps it stable. You can do all kind of uh, tilted angles as well, which you can't do with a gimbal. You can do some kind of revealing shots. You have all the flexibility from that thing. You can do fast uh, 
direction changes, so the swoosh effects. Uh, and the nice thing is when you when you walk around with it, it's not rock solid, but it slightly tilts and moves. So you get this this um, this flying effect, which you um, know from from Hollywood movies. And when you get it working, it really looks like Rocky or uh, Spielberg movie or something like that. But setting it up is horrible, balancing it is horrible, and I never really managed to get it working consistently, uh, which is probably just a uh, question of training. But so I will play around with it more, but it's not something which is easy to use. Easy to use is the Osmo. Um, this thing is a three axis motorized gimbal. They you mount your phone in here and it keeps your phone always horizontal. You can control it with the joystick. Uh, there's an app where you can calibrate things. So um, very easy to set up. Problem, very expensive. This thing costs something like 300 euros, um, which uh, for a toy is quite some money. Advantage of this thing, it's rock stable. So um, you can do whatever you want, it keeps the phone stable. It's um, always keeping the phone level, so you cannot do any Dutch angle shots, but um, you also don't need to think about it. So you just point it where you want it and it moves there and films there. So you get some kind of footage which looks like from a drone, which is okay because DJI is a drone maker, so this technology is exactly what's mounted in the drones. Uh, you get kind of cinematic movements and everything. It sometimes needs recalibration. So yesterday I tried it and, and some reason when I moved it around, it was something like one degree tilted. So I had to recalibrate it again and then everything was fine. But uh, it happened to me once or twice now. So after, after half an hour of playing around, uh, you need to put it down and calibrate it for whatever reason. You don't need to balance anything. This thing balances. Uh, you need to balance it once, roughly, but not as much as this one. So when you balance, when you balance that, it's take your phone off, take your phone on, it, it's working again. With this thing, you take your phone off, you put it on again, and you have to rebalance everything and adjust and adjust and adjust and adjust. So for ease of use, definitely this one. For cinematic effects. Probably for the really Hollywood look, probably this one if you get it working. I didn't, so um, maybe trying have to try more. But this is also pretty cheap, and you can you can also mount another camera on that. So you can mount a small um, SLR or a small um, mirrorless on that, and it still works. You need to have more counterweights there, but um, you can work with another camera there. Uh, GoPro, for example. This one is, um, I think, the if you have a monopod anyway, then it's something you could use. And the string is kind of the easy go-to emergency solution. Um, just have it in your bag whenever you walk around or have it in your coat and you want to film spontaneously. This is something you can always carry around and it keeps your phone more stable than using the hand. So I um, think I bored you enough. Um, afterwards you'll have something like five and a half minutes of even more boring footage with me in the woods trying out these things. If you find this helpful please leave a thumbs up. If you don't find it helpful uh, click th thumbs down twice just to make sure. Um, silly joke I know. Uh, put something in the comments what I can do better what I can do what I'm already doing good so feel free to shoot away and if you like it subscribe whatever you do on YouTube so thanks and see you in the next one